Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the new MetaHuman Techware outfit that I showed you on in real fast last week. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, first things first, what you want to do is make sure that you have all your plugins enabled. So open up Epic Games Launcher. And in 5.6, click on this drop down and make sure you have MetaHuman Creator Core Data installed right here. Then after that, go to your project, edit plugins and type in here metahuman and make sure you have all this enabled and restart your project next what we will do is go back to our content folder right click new folder and i'm going to create one called outfits and inside this i'm going to create another one called techware outfit next what we'll do is go to fab and download the metahuman techware outfit right here i already downloaded it and i put it inside this folder here on my desktop after you have it downloaded go inside the techware outfit folder and just drag and drop this here. Once that's done, I'll minimize this. I'll just dismiss this. I don't really need retracing right now. Once it's done importing, I'll just create a new folder in my content folder called meta test. Inside the meta test folder, I'm just gonna create a meta human character. Double click it. Next, I'll go to the top left corner and go to the presets and open one of my favorite ones, which is Era. If you haven't seen it, I already made a short skit with her. It's pretty cool. Once she's loaded up, I'll go to the hair and clothing, scroll all the way down, and in here, I'm gonna highlight the t-shirt because it's ugly, and then remove it. Next thing, go ahead and click on the window, press control spacebar to open up your content browser once again, go to outfits, tech right outfit, and drag and drop the outfit right here. Next, we will just double click it, and this should automatically fit the outfit to our metahuman. Now, some people are having issues with this one, and basically what you wanna make sure is that you have the spelling of the outfit the same exact way as your folder right here, and that should be good to go. Now, one of the cool things about this outfit is that it's actually compatible with the parametric body types in the new MetaHumans. So what that means is if I change this body right now and say I make it to something more donut friendly, I'll double click this. This is gonna automatically fit the outfit to that body, which is pretty cool. Now, with that being said, not everything in Fab is gonna be compatible with the new parametric body. If you go to the actual listing, you'll see right here, it's gonna say parametric clothing. This has to say yes for it to work, just like I showed you all. That's it, if y'all learned something new today, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Additionally, I'm gonna be coming out with a new MetaHuman Unreal Engine 5.6 course. I started working on it, but now that I'm back from Unreal Fest, I can finally finish it. It's gonna be really cool, and it's gonna be covering some pretty cool stuff. Till then, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.